the operational challenge there is that to some degree, it doesn't matter how good you are at content, uh, it's whether or not the sales team is actually good at closing those deals. What does kind of rapid growth of content marketing mean for the traditional kind of sales and marketing relationship? Well, I think what it should mean is, is actually, and we should be having this conversation more than we are, is a better retention rate. Right? The number one audience for your content is not new customers, it's your current customers. Mm -hmm. Because they have to continue to ratify the decision they've already made. Yeah. And companies that are smart, like Exact Target and Eloqua and Marketo, and it happens to be a lot of companies in that space, are really, really good at taking content that they create that may have a, a, a prospective customer bent to it, but making sure the first person to consume that content are their current customers. Their sales teams actually push content one-to-one -to, -one to their current customers. Say, hey, we're gonna come out with this research. We wanna make sure that you saw it first because you're in a loyal customer already. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's really smart business um, because you know everybody's got a renewal at some point. You know, mm -hmm. But it's interesting, I have a client that say, last year they sold a million pieces of something and 40% of them never bought again. And they said, well, we want to go out and get new customers. I said, no, you don't. Let's focus on that 40%. Yeah, let's make that 30. It, yeah. Let's, I mean, if you've got 400,000 people who didn't buy again, that's who we need to focus on. But so I see uh, large companies who actually have a big disconnect between marketing and their sales group because their sales group doesn't even know what kind of content marketing is producing. <laughs> yeah. And so marketing is churning this out. And even if it's going externally and PR and webinars and everything, the sales team doesn't even know. So there's all these tools and resources that may be available for their sales team, and they're completely ignorant. So there's a disconnect between what their either, either existing companies are hearing in the, or customers are hearing in the market and prospects, and then the kind of conversation that the sales team has. So right. sometimes it's yeah. even a disconnect. The sales team is selling on a per widget basis, and marketing's talking about a solutions approach, and you would never Disconnect, know they're in the yeah. same well, company. We actually yeah. made an infographic recently for a corporate client, and the infographic was only for the sales team to show them what content assets exist and when to use each one in a sales scenario. Right? Perfect. I mean, it's like right. that's so like inside well, baseball. I, I have one client that I created um, a persona for the sales team. I said, you know, we need to reach that's them. Great. That's we great. need to reach them because what's going to happen is the customer's going to call and say, I read this white paper, and they can say, uh, what? I just want to close the deal. So it's like, you know what? <laughs> Back to the we, need, we need to sell what them as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We, yeah. Need to sell, we need to sell to them. I mean, we need to we need to supply them with content as well. It's the postmodern version. We used to go through this back in the day when, when I used to sell a lot of web design and web strategy. And you know, you'd have this, you know, somebody would call up a company and say, oh, I read this on your website. And the receptionist is like, what, what website? Right. I, don't know, <laughs> exactly. I don't know what you mean by that. Right. What word right. does that right. indicate, right? And so, same thing. Yeah. Well, clearly, as, uh, you know, as the world of content marketing continues to grow, there's going to be gaps along the way. And uh, this research definitely shows that uh, the content marketing is working, and it's growing across channels, across different devices, and across different, different destinations. Uh, and it's been great. This has been a fantastic discussion. I thank all of you. And uh, thank you for joining us here at Content Marketing World 2012.